This is a brief tutorial about testing website accessibility using VS Code. Website accessibility, it's important so that all visitors of your website are able to have access it regardless of any disability uh, that they may have. Uh, so the website I have up in front of us um, is the W3C org standards um, on website accessibility uh, that you all should be familiar with um, as web developers. Uh, and in testing and creating websites that are accessible, there are many tools that we can use. Uh, for those of us using VS Code, uh, there's a plugin um, extension that we can add to VS Code uh, to make our lives easier to ensure that our code base is accessible to all visitors. To install this extension, we go to our extensions in VS Code. We launched a menu. And if we search for accessibility, we should be able to find the extension that's good for website accessibility here called Web Accessibility and you can, this comes up tells you a little bit about the extension that's available and uh, what it does and, and how it works here on the um, extensions page and you guys could look it over and see some of the capabilities but we're just going to install this okay once uh, we have that installed we can then use the extension uh, in checking our code and ensuring that it's um, adhering to accessibility standards. So now that I have the extension put in to my VS Code, you can see how it highlighted one of my accessibility issues. And it, if I roll my mouse over it, you can see it says provide an alt text that describes the image or alt equals blank if image is purely decorative. And then it gives us the, um, the reasoning being that it's web accessibility. So once we have that extension in our VS Code enabled and installed, we're able to ensure that the development that we do is actually complying with the uh, web standards uh, as a good practice. Now just note that this will not be 100% foolproof as not all automated tools are um, a substitute for manual testing, but this extension gives us some leeway um, opportunities to ensure that our coding practices are better when it comes to uh, developing uh, websites that are accessible. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have more questions about this extension or website accessibility, please do not hesitate to reach out and uh, ask or ask in the comments below. Thank you for watching the tutorial.